Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode playthrough. Um, today, I'm just doing a little bit of Botania, at least getting started. And I need the, um, the white petals, or the, um, for the petal apothecary. Seems... That it only works with the white ones, so I need kind of a flat area where I can. This is kind of right here. I think it does. If I make the floor fertilizer, it does like three, doesn't it? It's a bit awkward being on this kind of like hill bit. Maybe I can. There's a bit more. Kind of flat area over this way. Yeah. What is this? A rooster? I don't think I've actually seen that yet. Alright. Here we go. I absolutely hate long grass. Didn't a mod? Well, look at that. Tender Lily. That I'm not going to complain about at all. Okay. So didn't one mod like add like a lawnmower? I feel like that was a thing. Maybe what 1.7. There was like a lawnmower type item. All right. All right. So there is the white one. Do these have any other use? Just that. So I might as well just use them all. And then we'll be not set on these because my bags are full. I should have made a pouch thing. What are they called? Pouch, flower pouch. Yeah, flower pouch. That would have been the smart thing to do, but why do smart things? All right, I got them all, so perfect. Let's head back to the base, and we'll hit a tree on the way. All right, do I have creative flight yet? So I do love some creative flight. <laughs> Alright, I made another crate for all my Batania stuff. So we'll just throw all these. Pink tulip, that is just, that's not a thing. So, alright, so what we can do with this is turn them into mystical white petals. Then I can find the shears that I have. If we plant this right there, you can see the sparkles, and then bone meal them. They'll turn into the big version, and then you have to shear them to get that. And then I can turn this into eight. So we went two to eight, and then I'll just do it again with these, and then that will I'll be set with white petals for a long time. All right, did I get them all? Yeah. So let's just sleep through the night. I do like that sleep, uh, the fast sleep thing. All right, so there's my mystical white petals. Throw those away. I should probably plant this somewhere. Um, it works better on um, Endstone, but might as well get it going um, so it can grow. Put that away and that away. All right, so Mystical White Petal, we're back here. So let's do this. And then Petal Apothecary. 
I just noticed there's all these different types. Metamorphic forest cobblestone. Plain spell apothecary. I have no idea what that is. Never seen that before. Oh, I need my... I probably need that thingamabob. The, uh... That. So I shouldn't have slept through the night because... I need this. Um... Okay, so I, I have enough. I'm getting enough starlight during the day here, so I don't know if this is a decent area, or did I look out, or does this just require, like, no... Not a lot of starlight. And there we go. So that is the Gate to Britannia. We'll claim that. Oh, look. Flower pouch. I feel like that was kind of needed before <laughs> that quest. But, hey, I will... I mean, I guess I... Do I even have a use for it anymore? I might. I don't know. We'll just throw it in there. Okay, so... There's that, and that opens up blood magic. And mystical elk. There is no chapter for mystical. The normal infusion crystal requires items from the end or Britannia as well as thermal extension. It only has 25 uses. All right. So basically, the main reason I wanted to do this is um, for the sieve. Because some of my getting the like resources can be a bit annoying, especially with a lot of these expert mode things. They require a lot more uh, ores and metals and stuff. So I wanted to get that just to kind of have it. Now the sieve. Yeah, so we need nickel, which I can do. The enriched alloy, which I have, the planks, but this mana infused thing is the issue. And it says these can be crafted, so I'm curious. Yep, so here we go. There's obviously different ways to do it. Mana infuse ore. Uh, I don't know if this is actually a drop. You can get it from an orchid, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, so other planets. So we can't obviously get that, but... Um, where is it? I lost it again. So the metal... Metalgeric... Met, metalurgic... <laughs> I can never say that. Is diamond with mana steel. So I need to get mana steel. And uh, to do that is just iron in a mana pool. And uh, so how... How are we going to do this? Now, I'm curious if, I don't know if, um, nope, that's not the right way. I need a, kind of like a open area to do the Tania, so I guess over here. Um, I did, I'm curious if the water thing here. I'm just going to borrow this really quick to see, does this autofill the petal, petal, ah, petal apothecary? No, it doesn't. I didn't think it did, but figured I would give it a go. It needs to be, I think it needs to be more of like a mechanical user, like a auto placer or something that like right clicks on the item. Now. Okay, I don't really need these anymore, so maybe I should 
maybe chop these down since that is not needed. Could burn them down if I wanted. <laughs> but maybe, uh, yeah, get rid of these, I think. Maybe flatten this out. Fill in this kind of area a bit, maybe. Um, so yeah, let me kind of figure out where I'm going to do my Britannia stuff, I think. Yeah, uh, this will take me a minute, though. Yeah, okay, I got a bit of a area cleared out for me. Just avoid that. So I need... Um, let's see. I'm going to need a bit of a water source over here. Don't I have a, another bucket somewhere? Yeah. So let's get... We'll create a infinite water source. I probably could just... Eh. There is an Ender I.O. Reservoir kind of thing. Let's see, now that's already full. Yeah, I'll just... I'll create a water source next to the Petal Bluff Carry. Then I need... Um, I'm gonna need... What is it, the daisy? Yeah, so just the four white, and then I need the seed. Now I don't know what to do with this chest, because now I'm thinking about it. I should probably have this chest over by the other thing. Um, but I'll kind of figure that out as I go. And then I'll probably do... What's the... Uh... Oh, man, I... I'm trying to um, this one endo flame so we need brown red and brown red and light gray brown red and light gray and I think we'll just do the Yeah, we'll do this again, I think. Just so we don't run out. And I did notice this is almost done. We do have 258 millibuckets though, so not too bad. Alright, so I just kind of flattened out a little bit of an area. Um, I might move this back a little bit, um, but it's right next to this villager house, but yeah, it's all right. All right, so first things first, I need a infinite water source. I guess we'll just kind of put it right here. I don't know where my... I had a shovel. All right, so we'll do that. Put that in there, and then... That works, right? Yeah. Alright, I know that's not the most elegant way of doing it, but uh, yeah. So I also need some more of these. Um, we'll do I only have five of those, unfortunately. So I'll just do those five for right now, I think. All right, I just didn't want to use all my the petals up. All right, so we got our pure daisy. Actually, let me really quickly, let's look at this. Let's open that up. All right, so it does get you Lux Britannia, but for fertilizer, I don't. 
I don't really need that right now. So I, I needed it to get the white one to start out with. That's kind of cool. It gives you five levels. There's my pure daisy. So that gets you living wind or living rock. And then the end of flame is the one I am kind of going for here. So what was it? Two brown and... Yeah, two brown, a red, and a gray. So let's two brown, a red, and a gray. Should probably make a few of these. Two brown, a red, and a gray. And I know I could right click on the thing, yeah, with an empty hand, but. Oh. So. Yeah, okay. So, Pure Daisy, we'll just kind of do. I don't know, right here and right here, how about? And then for these, we're going to do stone, and. I need an easier way to get in here, as opposed to park mooring. This will do. What we do? Thirty-two. I need to throw another. Did I get? Do I have no more? Oh, I don't have any more cobble. Well, I do, but it's in my the dank null. Which uh, I realized. Voids at 128, so this tier it only goes up to 128. So I probably want to upgrade that because I like having a bit more than two stacks. Um, but since it's nighttime, I did want to check this out. Wow, that's I kind of like lucked out with this. I feel like it's still going up. So I haven't done anything with this, and I just I'm getting this much. So I. I feel like that's higher than it usually is. Because I didn't even, I never looked for a specific place for that. But anyway, let's do that. Okay. So we got our end of flames. We got our this. Ooh, I'm short on wood. I wonder if this wood would go. I'm not going to use it, because I would rather just throw that in the extractor or the rubber, just in case I need that. Yeah, it looks like I... I am out of wood here. Luckily, there is plenty of trees around. I don't think this is going to cut down that one. I'm just going to break those so it didn't look so weird. And I can actually do birch too. Alright. Just chop this down. Chop all the trees down. Whatever. I don't think that ever empties out. Oh, there is an Enderman. Not gonna worry about that right now. But anyway, let's uh, transform some of the stuff. We'll put that there. Is that? I've not seen particles. Am I crazy? Is that not how this works? Usually there's particle effects, isn't there? I 
Anyway. See, let's do Living Rock. Yeah, Pure Daisy. Okay, so that's a thing. <laughs> uh, should have known that they changed that. So that is not stone, and the living wood is infused wood. All right, so here we go. This has thrown a bit of a wrench in my plans here. I need liquid starlight for the living wood so I can drop the wood logs in liquid starlight. I like that little icon, <laughs> throwing it in the water. All right, so I need to progress a little bit farther into Britannia. This I can do arcane stone. Yeah, it's just a V crystal, so I can get that one. Um, herba, I have tons of herba. It's regular stone, right? Yeah. Dinner? Do you make arcane stone? I don't know why that I got a quest for it. Maybe I didn't complete the. I probably crafted it before I did that. Um, but I have a lot of things I need to uh, do. Where am I? Yeah, Living Rock is made with arcane stone. Infused wood. It does say in there. I just didn't notice it. All right. So, but we'll place this around. Yeah, there is. There are the particle effects. So that's not too bad. I just need the, the crystals for it. I guess we'll just do that. Oh, I do need living wood if I want to produce mana, though. Dang it. All right, so the let's go back here. Before I can get into this, so we'll Claim that while I can. Top tier food, always edible, plus flares. Well, that's good to know. Put that in there. Pod soul. I don't know what that is needed for, but I'll hold on to it just in case. Okay, so the infused starlight, I believe, is the aquamarine and the thing. Is it aquamarine and the... Okay, I need to empty some of this out. Oops. Okay, so... I'm getting turned around here. Astral Sorcery is this. The light wall is used to produce liquid starlight. Place it in clear view of the sky and place a rock crystal or aquamarine in it. Wait for it to liquefy. It only progresses during the night. So we need a light well here, which I probably want a few of these. So let's take a look at this. All right, so I need, I need a rock crystal which I have a few of, a couple aquamarine, and okay, so these look like I need these specific items for this, I'm guessing. So let's pull out the chisel. All right, for now, I'm going to put some of this stuff away just to clear out my inventory a bit. So I need rune marble. Let's get my marble. Rune marble, chiseled marble. 
Rune marble and chiseled marble. So let's do this. Actually, let's split this in half. So ruined marble right here, and we'll do, I know it's not the same amounts, but yeah. All right, so there is the marble, and you can get these for crafting. So like the ruined marble and the luminous craft table, it would be two marble and then chiseled, but it's just so much easier just to use the, the chisel to get it. Um, where is, right here. Okay, so I guess we'll do, should we do three or four? Let's do four. I'm actually going to need these two, so. Do I have the resonating wand? No, I keep putting that away. I should just hold it, keep it on me. I'm curious if this will work up here. It doesn't, yeah, I'm not seeing like a bar or anything. So, so far this, I've been not having to wait for nights, but obviously this is only gonna progress during the night. So I'll do a few of these. I keep, whenever I look at this table, I keep looking for a, a thing to click on. Just out of habit. Okay, so... Do I want to do this? Should I do that down there? Since I need... How about we just do it right here? I guess, and then, is it... Alright, it did say it only produced, goes at night, but... It is working right now so obviously we can see can you put multiple no you can't put multiple aquamarine in this now i'm curious can i get this from aquamarine shale this does come up in one of the vote miners so that's kind of cool someone throwing stuff at me being rude where did they come from Where did that witch come from? Am I crazy? I have no idea where that witch is. Something threw, right? I'm not crazy. Something threw it at me, right? Oh, oh well. Alright, so this is Living Rock. So there is that quest. And again. <laughs> oh, it's not someone a witch, it's this. It's the thing breaking. Gotcha. I was thinking it was a witch throwing stuff at me, but it's the this thing. Aquamarine, like finishing. So, same sound. I need to maybe light this up a bit. All right, so I guess we will, now is there? Yeah, so there it goes. Is there, like, do these, is it just random, the amount? So, like, why is this one so much less than this one? I don't know if that's, 
is a thing, or... Well, I guess this one broke, and I didn't realize, so that's probably why, but... Okay, so this infused wood... You just take the wood and then throw it in liquid starlight and you get the infused wood. So if I'm looking at this correctly, I need eight buckets of liquid starlight to make light. It's one to one, so I need one whole bucket. Um, and I was thinking if I do the eight around the ring, like around the daisy, that's eight buckets. So that is quite a lot. Oh, I have... I have wood right here, what am I doing? But does this... Um, flare? Is that a good thing, or...? I don't know if that was a good thing, or a bad thing, or what that was. Probably not a good thing. So do I just take this and pull it out? Yep, like that, and then say... Like right there? Did I... Okay, so does it not use the liquid starlight up? It appears it does not use liquid starlight up, but I have a buff that says night vision. And the starlight gives you night vision. Alright, so this is. That wasn't as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. And there goes the living wood. Yeah, okay, so why are these lasting so long? But then it like broke really fast. I don't know, they must be just kind of random. Like every tick, it has a chance of breaking, maybe? Totally guessing. Um, don't know if that's the case. And then this should go pretty quickly here. It progresses during night, which I don't think that is true. It did look like it was progressing during the day. It says a bunch of different uses, most of which you'll have to find for yourself. Is this will highlight areas that receive a larger than normal amount of spotlight, but only at night. I keep thinking that's a witch. <laughs> So does this continue? Like even though that's not filling up with liquid starlight, is that going to break? I guess I don't need a full amount. I was thinking I needed eight. Okay, so there's living wood, and then after I kill the zombie, we will Get the last two things here that I want to make, which is the mana pool. Which, the looted mana pool, is that even still a thing? So the living rock, light gray petal block, white petal block, rock crystal, so that's definitely a thing. So living rock with the light blue die. So these definitely have changed. <laughs> For sure. So we'll do this. There is the diluted mana pool. I really thought that wasn't a thing anymore. Inventory full? No. Okay, so got our diluted manifold, fabulous manifold, everlasting guilty manifold. 
What is this fabulous kind of thing? Shimmer rock. I wonder if they're just different sizes, which would be my guess. So, white petal block. Oh, okay, so that's... need this. For now, I'm going to put these loot chests in here. Actually, I have like a whole separate inventory. I'm getting myself confused here. So I need nine of these and the light gray one. which I don't have enough. All right, so I need to Yeah, I need to get some more bone meal, get some more light petals and craft this uh, mana pool up, but uh, we will do that next episode. So in between episodes, I'm just going to get some more materials. I'm going to craft up some more infused wood, um, some more living rock with the arcane stone. And we will continue um, into some botania here. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, and have a good one.